Hello SBL and welcome to this week's assembly. I'm Miss Sharp and you might know me as a health and social care teacher. Health and social care workers are doing their absolute best for us at this time and we can help by staying home and observing all the social distancing rules to ensure that we're helping to protect our communities. In health and social, one thing we talk about is PIES. PIES stands for physical, intellectual, emotional and social well-being. In order to support and promote your well-being at this time, I want to look at these four aspects of your development. Firstly, physical and emotional well-being are closely connected. Exercise and a healthy diet help to improve our mental health. So how can you exercise and eat well at this time? What can you do to support your physical well-being? Joe Wicks is helping to keep the country fit, so you might be getting up and jumping about with Joe. You could try yoga, an Instagram a workout or take up running, as long as you keep a safe social distance while you're out in the park. Emotionally, it's important to communicate feelings calmly and sensibly. This is particularly important in times of potential stress. If you find it difficult to talk about feelings, think about using emoticons or symbols to show other people how you're feeling in a calm and sensible way. It's also a really good idea to tell people what you need from them when you're not feeling at your best. If you're unhappy and you need a smile or a hug to make you feel better, Make sure you tell someone and that people in your family know that. Or perhaps you're a person who likes to have some quiet time and to be alone if you're feeling a little bit stressed. Make sure people in your family understand that by speaking to them and telling them and explaining your feelings. That will help everyone in your household to feel more comfortable and secure together. At this time we're physically limited in what we can do and where we can go, but there are no limits to our minds. There is no limit to learning, to creativity or imagination. Your teachers are providing lessons so you can learn, develop and progress in your subjects. And that is absolutely essential. But what else could you learn just for the fun of it? Have you tried cooking, computer coding, contouring from a YouTube video or learning language on an app? Whatever you choose to do, you could choose to make this time a time where you develop your skills and where you develop your imagination and your creativity. If you have intellectual or creative hobbies, you'll never be bored when you're alone, but it's great to share them with friends as well. You can't meet up, but you can reach out, share what you're doing and support each other through social media. Just remember, the most important thing about social media is to always be kind. Before you post anything to my social media, make sure that you think. Think, is it true? Great, post it. Think, is it helpful? Great, post it. Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? Is it kind? Terrific! If the answer is yes, post it. If it's not true, don't post it. If it's not helpful, don't post it. If it's not inspiring or necessary or kind, don't post it. We can choose to support one another through social media or we can harm one another. Let's make the right choice. Let's always think before posting on social media. Now there's one thing that is being posted that is very necessary for you. If you're in year 7 to 10 or year 12, your learning is being posted for you on Insight. Remember to check in every day to find your new lessons to help you develop, learn and progress. If you're in year 11, there's a new resource for you. It's called the Year 11 Pathways Google Classroom. You've been sent the code through Insight. In the classroom, there's apprenticeships information, careers and exams updates post-16 pathways information and well-being. If you click into the post-16 pathways section, you'll find different subjects that you might want to take at post-16, whether that's at SPL or elsewhere. Each subject has provided 
a slideshow full of activities for you to help you to prepare for post 16 study. So log in, click on the links and get learning. And remember, if you haven't yet decided what you want to do, or you're reconsidering and you're thinking of coming back to post 16 at SPL, which we would very much like you to do, you can write in to us or more likely send us an email. If you're already in sixth form and you're one of our year 13 leavers, there's a Google Classroom for you too. It's called Brain Gym. And the most important thing that you need to know is it's got uni prep activities on it. There are new projects to help you develop your academic skills because although you don't have to set your A-levels, you still need your intellectual skills for the future. For everyone who might be thinking about their future, their career and their prospects, there's the SBL Careers Learning site where you can explore a wide range of resources that will help you decide where you want to go and understand how you can get to the destination of your choice, whether that is university, whether it's an apprenticeship or a career. Take a look at the Careers Learning site and start thinking about what you could be doing to help you be successful in your future. Thank you all very much for listening to this week's assembly and can I end by saying thank you to everyone in our community who is helping with our national endeavour to defeat the coronavirus by staying home to save lives and ensuring that our health and social workers are able to do the best job they can taking care of us as we take care of them. Thank you very much. Goodbye.